Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff, and today we have another fixed blade review. This is the Condor Bush Glider. Um, yeah, I want to I've wanted to review more fixed blades on the channel for a while, and uh, I actually bought this knife a long, long time ago. I was going to review it about a year ago, <laughs> and then I just kind of forgot about it. And uh, yeah, well, we're going to fix that today. So. Let's go ahead and start off with our measurements. Oh, I can't find my ruler, so time to grab the extras provided by old Tonto Guy. Here we go. We have a blade length of just a little over four inches. Overall length, since we have the big boy ruler here, we can, eh, about nine inches, give or take. Yes, a little bit, a couple centimeters. Uh, let's do some size comparisons. Uh, let's go ahead and bring out the bug out and the PM2. Very good, very good. Uh, for fixed blades, let's go ahead and, since I have it here with me right now, here is the CJRB Hyperlite. And, as always, my beloved SRK. So, um, it's a good sized fixed blade. It's not huge, but it's also not small. What are we looking at in terms of materials? Well, like most of Condor stuff, we have a 1095 blade with this really, really heavy um, black wash. I, I don't even know. It, it's, it's very, very interesting. Uh, feature. We have a polymer plastic handle and the sheath is, let's take that thing off of there. I'll explain why that was on there just in a little bit, but yeah, here's a sheath. It's kind of a plastic tube and it kind of mimics the, like the old school leather pouch sheaths right there. All right. Let's go do some cutting. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're taking a look at the Condor Bush Glider. And the only way we can appropriately do that is if we go into the bush. Ah, oh, it's raining. I wish I had a machete to get through this awful mire of plants, but luckily I, jeez, I can't even get out my sheath. Ugh. Luckily I have my bush glider. Ka-chaw! 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 Yeah. We found water. Ouch, ouch, ouch! Don't get me in the back, ouch! Ugh. Ugh, this way! Ugh. Great Scott, it's raining! Oh, look, there's the camera guy's pickup. Don't show that. We have to survive out here in the rain now. In the rainforest of New Mexico. Yeehaw. Well, if there's one thing that'll cut review cutting short, cut review cutting short. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's rain in the mountains. I'm hoping it lets up. There's a little bit of blue in the sky, but it's coming in pretty good over there. I don't know. What else do I have to do review cutting for? I'm working on a Condor Bush Glider, being an idiot when. It started to rain really hard. I guess that's about all I need to do today. I've done a lot of review cutting today. Not a lot. I should probably go and clean up my stuff and get out of here before the river rises because I do have to cross the river in my truck to get where I'm at.
Let's do some review cutting. It's wet and rainy, but survival man Gideon never admits defeat. Oh, my bad. It's wet and rainy, mate, but survival man Gideon never admits defeat. So we're gonna do this squash damn review cutting. That's a knife. Okay, we're putting away survival man Gideon. Putting away survival man Gideon for a little bit. And uh, so, Condor Bush Glider. I've had this uh, knife for a while and uh, just, I haven't really done anything with it uh, for a couple of reasons, but um, let's go ahead and do some stuff. Uh, I wanna grab a piece of wood Just to do a little bit of, oh, that is hard, hard cottonwood. I did take this camping with me one time and uh, it did good. Um, it does strike a fire steel. You have this area up here. We're not gonna do that right now because it's raining. There'd really be no point of lighting anything on fire. So, um, Ergonomics, really good. This knife, nice and fat, very neutral. Feels great in my hand. Can definitely work on wood with this all day. The jimping up here is pretty aggressive for the handle. And so, um, you know, it can hurt your thumb a little bit. Not bad though. But if you, you know, do want to avoid that, wear gloves, obviously. You didn't need me to tell you that. Okay, go ahead and do some cutting. This is a great knife to review in the rain, you know, with its carbon steel blade. But, oh, and wet cardboard. What a joy. Okay, well that didn't really tell us much. But, okay, yeah, that's gonna have to be the end of review cutting for today. Get that out, let's do some pushes. One, two, three. Not real great, but also the rope is kind of slippery. Um, but still, very thin blade and not really a good shape for crunching down on a rope. See how well I did the grind? Wow, everything is so wet. Um, but yeah, it actually feels really good. I think they did a great job on that. All right, I'm calling it a day. Let's go home. Oh, wait, snap. <sighs> Can't go home yet. I gotta talk about the sheath. So it's kind of a traditional style sheath. It's plastic and uh, it has this super tiny loop. Obviously you can put a dangler on this, you know, a bigger loop to go over your belt. None of my belts fit through this. The knife goes in all the way. I put it in backwards just now. The knife goes in all the way. It can be a pain to get out sometimes, but actually right now it's coming out really good. So I don't know what's there. When I was carrying this, I just put a carabiner on here and uh, went with that. It is, you know, you can move this thing around for lefty carry. So yeah, um, I'm not the biggest fan of the sheath. Uh, I, if a sheath is going to be like the kind of this pocket style, I prefer it to be leather, but anyways, let's pack up and get out of here. All right. Put all this stuff in the trash. Don't litter, people. Because I will find you. And I will kill you.
And just like that, you got to see some behind the scenes. Don't you feel lucky? Privileged? Honored? Perhaps bored? Ironically, as soon as I start to clean up, the rain starts to settle. Alrighty folks, let's get into what I'm liking and not liking about the Condor Bush Glider. First thing, I think the ergonomics are fantastic. You can see here that the handle is very, very um, thick. It has this swell here, um, and it goes all the way around the tang of the blade. So, very hand filling, extremely comfortable like this, and since you're not feeling the tang, uh, you know, that's not rubbing on your hand at all, but also if you're using this in a cold environment, and you don't have gloves on for whatever reason. Um, yeah, you're not going to feel that tang. Uh, yeah, just very, very comfortable. If you want a knife for bushcraft, it really needs to be comfortable because, you know, potentially you're going to be using it for a long, long time. The jimping up here is very aggressive. And at first I thought it was too aggressive, but you know what? It works. Like, you know, this handle here, you have this, like, diamond texture here, which you can feel and it feels good, but it's not exactly locked into your hand when you put your thumb right in there like it grabs you and this knife is locked in so i really appreciate that the jimping is also sharp enough that you can feel it with gloves so really really cool uh you have an area back here up here on top of the the clip point excuse me there's a little bit of rust there oops um you can strike a fire steel here because it's a it's a 90 degree uh edge and that's really really nice it bothers me to no end when I'm watching a movie or something. I see someone striking a fire steel with their blade. Like, no, you idiot. So here, they, they, they give you this. You could also use this area back here for scraping a fire steel. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I guess you could use it just for scraping tasks or uh, things like that. Maybe it's a attitude adjuster, you know, pop someone in the head with that. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the blade itself is really, really good. 1095 is a great outdoor use steel. You have this, this very uh, kind of apocalyptic, uh, coating or just finish on the blade. Uh, I must say I do kind of like it. It's very, uh, focus in here, camera. It's very unique. It's going to hide wear really, really well. And uh, it's going to help with rust, which obviously I needed. <laughs> So, yeah, really, really good. Um, great size. The knife is an excellent size if you're going to have it for, you know, bush crafting stuff. Um, you have enough blade to make some powerful cuts, but it's also small enough to manage for some, you know, uh, more fine-duty tasks. So that's really, really good. All in all, just a very well-designed fixed blade, very well thought out, as you might expect from Condor, and it's definitely going to perform the way you want it to out in the field. So that's good. Okay, let's talk about what I don't like. And there's really nothing about the sheath, about the, the knife itself that I don't like, but I, I, I don't like the sheath at all. Um, <laughs> let's start with this little thing here. This is a dangler, right? And so that's why I had this carabiner on here because, you know, I'm a grown up and I wear actual sized belts, so you can't fit a belt through there. And in a lot of ways, you know, maybe they don't want you to, you know, dangle this a little bit, get it lower on your on your side so it's not, you know, the knife isn't poking you in the in the hip. So that's why I put this carabiner on here, and I dangle it like that. Um, I could have worked out something a little bit better, probably, but um, I got to be honest, I am not the hugest fan of danglers without a uh, thigh tie on a knife uh, because for me if I've got a dangler on there it just like flaps around you have this this tube on here and it just I wasn't really a big fan of dangling this around just letting it slap everywhere uh, when I do use a dangler I like to have a leather sheath and I like to have a, a a leg strap that I can tie around my thigh to keep the knife from bouncing around but that's just me uh, other than that also 
Uh, I don't mind pouch style sheaths. In fact, I think they're really, really good for a lot of things. They keep, you know, if you're walking through the brush, um, you know, it keeps things from banging on your knife and pulling it out. Uh, but this one was just hard to, like a little bit hard to get out of there. They have like this little grip pad here. I wish it stuck up a little bit more so you could like push on there better. Um, but yeah, just, I wasn't a really big fan of the sheath. You can turn this around so you can, you know, carry it lefty, but just wasn't the biggest fan of that sheath um, at all. But other than that, the knife itself is very, very good. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get into my final conclusions. I know, short review, right? Don't you guys love it when I review fixed blades? Except, I guess... The, the hyper light that was a that was a very very long review but that's not today or it might be because i'm wasting time right now so let's just hurry up and get to the point gideon so these knives go for about 40 to 50 bucks uh depending on where you get them from uh mm, big noisy trailer just drove by I think that's a good price. I think that's completely fair. And I think you're getting a lot of knife for your for your money. This knife is well made, and uh, yeah, as a budget bushcraft uh, fixed blade, I think it'll be it'll do really really well. What do I think of it? Personally, there's a reason it took me a year to review this, <laughs> and that's because it's just really not my type of outdoor knife. Uh, I want to take this camping with me take it to the woods, go hunting, you know, all these different things with it. But I found it hard to do all that because this just isn't my type of knife uh, in the type of, of way that I use a knife when I'm outdoors. Um, let's bring out Old Faithful. <laughs> the Cold Steel SRK. Um, this has been my favorite fixed blade, and this has been kind of the perfect fixed blade for me uh, and my outdoor use um, because it's a great size to where I can I, I can baton with it, I can chop with it. I mean, it's not the best chopper just because of the blade shape, but I have done it, as you guys know from past videos. Uh, and I can also do a little bit of finer duty work, and it just works really, really well for me. I mean, it's not an amazing skinner or things like that, but, you know, I've got other knives to do that. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I really wish that I never bought the SRK <laughs> because it makes it very, very hard for me to carry and review anything else, especially like this. Like, this is not an EDC fixed blade. So, like, the, the Hyperlite, um, I carried it as an outdoors knife, didn't really like it, carried it as an EDC fixed blade, liked it a lot more. This knife, not really EDC fixed blade, this is an outdoors type knife. And I can see the utility. It's a very good knife. I can see where this would be really, really great for a lot of things. Um, and I do like the knife. I can recommend the knife 100%. If, this, if you have a task that you think this will be really, really good for, go ahead and pick it up. I'm not going to stop you. It's great. For me and my outdoor use, like I did take this camping with me a couple of times, and I just found that... I would just abandon it uh, in favor of the SRK. And, you know, that's just that's just me personally. I'm um, going to do a long-term review on that knife or something. But, yeah, uh, the sheath system wasn't my favorite. Um, I'd probably make a new sheath for this. But, yeah, can I recommend this knife? I can. If you think that your outdoor use is more along uh, what I do in the outdoors, which, you know, follow my Instagram, or if you've watched my channel for a long time, you, you know what that looks like. Um, yeah, maybe maybe this isn't the best thing for you. Um, it's ironic that I'm reviewing this knife right now while I'm at college instead of in the outdoors. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it's a good knife. It's a good knife. Not really my style, though. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, does get a recommendation, just not, you know, it's not my type of thing. So, without fur any further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of this if you have one of these. And uh, yeah, I've been Gideon. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.